Hello everyone. Today's a special day because I've just received the QNAP TS-264 NAS system. This is going to be a game changer for managing media and project files because I've been struggling with storage, especially since I am a student in college right now for cybersecurity. I work with a lot uh, with storage a lot. I work with VMs and I often run out of space and it's very difficult to do things like transfer files and manage everything without having to delete previous stuff, which may be important later. But in front of me, I have the TS-264, which should definitely help with that. It comes with two bays, a Intel Celeron quad core processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, M2 PCI slots, and dual 2.5 gigabits on uh, network connectivity. That's awesome. So let's get straight into this. So let's go ahead and flip this around and have a look at it. You can see there's extended five year warranty, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and open this up. So here's the device. And then we also have the components, uh, the cord, power cords and et cetera in here. So let's take this out and take out the device. Comes in some pretty great packaging. Awesome. So here we have the device and we have the components right here. So first of all, let's have a look at the device itself just to see a quick glance over it. Very lightweight, very compact. Um, it looks very sleek um, considering the power that it has. And if we want to go ahead and open up the compartments, you just slide this to the side and then they will go ahead and open up. As you can see, there's a trays here, pretty straightforward. Awesome. So before we get into the device, let's go ahead and open up just the compartments just so we can kind of see the wires that it comes with. I kind of had opened them earlier just to make sure everything was there and it was. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take those out the box and place them down so just so we can see everything that it ships with. So there, first of all, we can see that it comes with the power cord, obviously, and the ethernet cable and a few extra screws. And of course the installation guide and some other um, flyers. So first you have the installation guide here. It's very straightforward. Um, get straight to the point, has some visuals, um, very easy to understand. Um, and it's, it's great for when you're first setting it up. It also shows you some stuff for the four bay versions, which is good. We have our extended warranty flyer here, which is awesome. And we have some more warranty information on this. Here we have some extra screws and stuff. I guess if you want to mount it or put it somewhere, then you could use those. We have the ethernet cable. Looks like a very good quality ethernet cable. And I definitely will be using this one. I plug straight into my router. And last but not least, we have the power cord. It comes with a brick and the cord, the end that goes into the NAS and the end that goes into your outlet. As for the device, you have your indicator lights on the front, you have your power button. You have another button here, which I have to figure out what that does. Um, it is, again, it's very slick. It's very um, lightweight. You have your two ethernets on the back. You have an HDMI and then a few USB ports. And of course the power port. And then you have your PCI slot at the top. If you ever wanna, you know, add more uh, storage or you wanna add extra slots or whatever in the back, you can do that using the PCI slot. On the side, you can see you have the, the USB on the front and then you have the QR code that you can scan to then log in remotely into your NAS to then manage it and set it up. So overall, it is pretty great, pretty straightforward, and I am loving the device, and I can't wait to use it in my home lab and set it up with my home server.